Elon Musk has said will be five to 10 times better with less engagements per mile. What's also quite big is that this version will no longer have the nag and a new driver monitoring system. Big breaking news. Let's get going to the big ones. So this is uh, version 12.4 is hotly anticipated. It's now here being rolled out to employees. And recently we've seen that as soon as it rolled out to employees, it gets out to the public very quickly. But included in there is this new vision-based attention monitoring and autopilot suspension. Uh, this is from Not A Tesla App. It includes a new vision-based attention monitoring system and the steering nag is removed. Before we get there, this was a post by Elon Musk, uh, you know, a couple, a few days, less than a week ago, but it said that 12.4, it's going to go to internal release this weekend, and that's what happened, and limited external beta next week. Okay, so we do need to wait a week, but roughly five times to 10 times improvement in miles per intervention versus 12.3. This is a big, big deal. 12.5 will come out late June. Uh, what's your thoughts about this release? Yeah, make no mistake that the, the nag being reduced is directly proportional to the performance of the release itself. Remember, Tesla is capturing unit and system test data internally on the release. They're able to do simulations, they're able to do and gather a lot of information internally before the release is put out to a broader audience. So that decision to reduce the nag is, is in my opinion, directly correlated to the performance of the release. And, you know, that it's a wide estimate of five to 10 X improvement, but you know, this starts becoming, you know, fairly significant if we have a couple of these types of releases in a, in a row, and it actually makes the number of miles more important because Tesla doesn't just need gross miles. They need miles with, you know, interventions. They need to, to see more of them. And as the release improves, they're going to get less interventions per mile driven. So it's, 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 it's almost like it's this, those two things are kind of working against each other, but in, in general, the releases are improving dramatically and that decision to reduce the nag. Remember, this is the steering wheel nag. The cavern camera is going to be looking and making sure that you're, you know, watching the road. So this is going to be one of those interesting things to tune because I remember when they first put out the cab cabin camera uh, attention, you know, software, there were some issues with it and certain, you know, if you're wearing a hat or not and so forth. So, you know, their ability to, to get this right, they've been working on this cabin camera software for, I think, over a year or more, um, I think is going to be a critical piece uh, of the equation. So this is, this is exciting. It looks like employees, it's rolling out now. And probably, you know, to to outside users, uh, customers, probably, you know, in days, maybe a week later. Okay, let's go through the actual uh, notes of what's going to happen. This is the 2024.9.5 release notes coming out soon. Vision-based attention monitoring. Okay, this is a camera that's in cabin. The driver monitoring system now primarily relies on the cabin camera to determine driver attentiveness. Again, very few cars has this in-cabin camera. People don't realize this. This enhancement is available in vehicles equipped with a cabin camera and only when the cabin camera has clear and continuous visibility of the driver's eyes. The camera is not occluded. There is sufficient cabin illumination. And the driver is looking forward at the road ahead and not wearing sunglasses, a hat, and a little brim or the objects covering the eyes. Outside of these circumstances, the driver monitoring system will continue to rely on a combination of torque-based steering wheel and vision-based monitoring to detect driver attractive attentiveness. So if the camera detects the driver to be inattentive, a warning will appear. The warning will be dismissed, can be dismissed by the driver, immediately reverting their attention back to the road ahead. Oh, great. Just by looking forward, that's it, solves it. Warnings will escalate depending on the nature and frequency of detected inattentiveness with continuous inattention leading to a strikeout. Ah, oh my God, this is a great system. Cabin camera images do not leave the vehicle itself, which means the system cannot save or transmit information unless you enable data sharing. And then this is the how they're going to deal with these kind of uh, susp autopilot suspension. It used to be that when you get a strikeout, three strikeouts and you're out kind of thing, and you can't uh, reinstall it. But now one autopilot strikeout will be forgiven for each seven-day period in which you do not receive any strikeouts. So each time you receive a strikeout, this timer will restart. So once you get these strikeouts, you can remove them. 
uh, by just driving well. The FSD supervised feature can only be removed per the suspension method, and it can and it will be unavailable for approximately one week. What do you think about that, Jeff? Yeah, I like the changes. Um, this is um, promoting good behavior. Um, I don't think the system is 100% any kind of vision-based system. You know, they, they've got to tune and dial this in for various, you know, head types and, and you know, facial structures. But I, it sounds like they're pretty close um, to getting this right. So I'd be interested to see what the kind of the false positive, false negative rate is uh, on this. But w w we won't see that data. It'll be internal to Tesla. So this seems like a... a uh, a better approach that's really focused on the highest order bit, which is, is the, is the, is the person in the seat, in the driver's seat, looking ahead and paying attention. So I think, yeah, even if you start closing your eyes, you know, this thing will, you know, will go off is if you're, you know, nodding to sleep. So this, this seems like a better solution. It gets rid of all the, uh, defeat, uh, devices out there as well that were, that were being used. I like it. I like it too. And it's really is another feature that shows we're headed towards robo taxi. 